Hey guys. Um, so I'm, I kind of feel weird because you just see, I guess I'll stand up in this video. Um, but see then that, that messes up the lighting. Okay. I, I feel weird with you just see in my head, <laughs> but anyway, so I'm, as you can see, I'm wearing a different wig. This is the wig I showed in the other video, the curly wig. So I like it. Um, sorry, this, okay. So, um, I've been wearing it all day though. I've been in, I was in a 10 hour class, so it's, you know, it's kind of a little bit messed up now, but I really like these curls and they're easy. You just can, um, style it with your hand, like, you know, just to get the curl pattern back. Just, you know, do like that and that styles easily. So I'll try the back. I'm not, I don't really know how it looks in the back. As I said, I've been wearing it all day, but, um, so that's the back. And so that's a good length. I like it. Hope it wasn't tangled back there because I just got home. But um, so, and I like this. It's long and that bob we wig that I had on the other day was um, it was kind of just too short for me. So I like it. I've been wearing you know some in the back and then I've not had this much, but kind of some curls in the you know hanging like that. And so. I'm gonna have to uh, comp get a wig brush or something to kind of, cause it this tangles a little bit, get it all nice and untangled because I would even want to wear it like this. I think this would be cute, wearing it this way, or even, you know, wearing it this way not so much. I don't think cause of the curl pattern, but you know, wearing it so one side I think would be cute as well. So. Let me know what you think of what you think about this wig, but um, I came because I wanted to show you um, a little. I'm, I like Elf products, as I've mentioned before. I know a lot of people don't like Elf products, but um, and sorry about this. Like I'm gonna get this whole concept. I might try to shoot somewhere else now that I got my camcorder up and running. I wanted to have like a pretty background. I like this picture, but. In order for me to show like the whole picture, now I'm so low, so I might shoot over there. Maybe I'll see, but for this one, I'll just get it done. But um, Elf had a sale going on, like they have a sale going on all the time, and so I get the emails. And so I've been wanting to try their studio line, I think it is, or yeah, their studio line brushes. But I don't, I didn't want to pay, I think they cost $30 for the whole kit, and I never wanted to pay that. And then they had a sale going on. You get the 11 brushes, the studio uh, line brush set for $3. But um, but it cost, yeah, $3. But you have to spend $30 on something else in order to get it. So I didn't get it. But um, the other day, I forgot when I ordered this. I wish I did because so, I wanted to tell you all how fast. It came pretty fast when I just got home from class. This was outside my door. And I was like, what? I don't even remember ordering anything and I'm like oh yeah the elf I think I ordered this on Friday and it's today no I didn't order it yesterday I may have ordered it on Thursday and it got here today which is Saturday and this is the fastest that I've ever received um anything from elf but so anyway um they had a coffee break sale which when they have those sales it's normally like just the three hour sale and it was the um find the piece of paper it was the this the makeup um the complete makeup artist collection which they said normally i think it's 75 dollars they had it on sale for 30 dollars i think was yeah 30 dollars so it was 45 dollars off was the um the deal and so I'm like, well, that's not bad because I'm going to show you everything that came in here for $30. And then with shipping and handling, which you all know I hate paying, was $36.95. So um, this is what it came with. It came with this, which is the 11 brush uh, collection set. And so it's the, um, the studio brushes, which is like a step above the regular brushes that the, uh, I forgot what the little white brushes are called and it comes in a little bag like that that uh it has a little zipper on it so the bag is pretty generic 
And I've never used any of these brushes before. Something fell out. But so those are the brushes. And this is the contour brush. Feels free stuff. This it's like a plasticky smell. I'm not, I'm not really too happy about that, but that's what that brush looks like. And this is what fell out of there. Um, it has a little booklet and it tells um, about each of the brushes. So that's good. Cause like I said, I'm just getting into makeup. So this tells what each brush does. So it says the contour brush adds depth close to the lash line in the corner of the eye, blah, blah, blah. So if you all were to get this, um, to get this collection or whatever, this, um, it comes with what each brush does, which is good for beginners. I think it's this that's smelling like plastic. So it has a blush brush. Yeah, that, it, that is pretty soft. I've never seen a, a blush brush shape like that before. And then it comes with this brush, which is a eyeshadow C brush. And so I'm happy about this because I've been wanting to get like some more different type of um, brushes, like you know like the different types not different brands but like a C brush or this type of brush and I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money on like the like top line brushes or anything like that so this this will come in handy for me and these all are made with the same material and that feels really nice and soft then it comes with a this is a um, small angled brush This is not, it's not really, um, you know how like some of the angled brushes are kind of firm that this one isn't. So I will see how that works. And then this is a small precision brush. And I'm just showing you this for some, you know, those who don't know what comes in it. And then this is a powder brush. These are also soft. The angled foundation brush. And I like this, um, you know, how these are designed. This just total, you know, straight all black with the black bristles. And then this is a small smudge brush. This is a concealer brush, which is, this is what I need. I'm glad I didn't even know this came in there. I need this because I've been using, well, they say it's a concealer brush, but it's too big for me to try to use under your eyes. So I, th I think this will be better. I mean, you can use that for anything. This could even be like a flat shader brush. And I've always wanted one of these, so I'm really happy about this. The uh, fan brush. So I think this would be good like when I'm putting on my makeup to try to make sure that I don't really know what this is used for but I want to use it to like get the fallout you know to make sure that I'm not getting a lot of fallout and then it'll probably also be easy to brush away but I am going to exact I'm going to try to research it to see exactly what that's used for I don't know if that's what it's used for or not but that's what I really want to use it for. And then the last brush that came in here is the complexion brush. So. And so this alone was, was supposed to be $30. And I finally, like I said, went ahead and got it because this kit came with more things that made it worth buying it. Um, it came with these four lip glosses and it's the four piece shimmer lip gloss set so it's four shimmer glosses 
yeah if i do it like this y'all can see it better the colors so um it has like a pink color in here and they, these two right here have a lot of glitter almost that looks in it. And these two have just a little bit. This is like a red color. This is a pink. And then this is like a golden type of tan color. So that'll be good for naturals and when you're wearing your golds. So. It also came with this uh, makeup artist brush set. Uh, I mean artist brush belt. Which I really don't need this. And I didn't realize that the brushes came in that bag. It, it has a horrible smell. So hopefully once this airs out, it will be okay. But it, it looks like this. And this is for people who, you know, you know, you know what this is for. But this is really good for people who are expiring makeup artists. Kind of has a little white mark on it. So it's faux leather, but it's, it's a nice feeling. And it has this on it, the back, so that you can adjust it to your waist. Um, it came with this, which I already have. So I might put this aside for like a giveaway or or a swap or something. It's the Elf Mist and Set. So um, you spray this on and it keeps your makeup in place or it's supposed to. I, I have it, but I've not tried it yet. And then it came with... Um, and primer and eyelid primer and it's the uh, mineral eyeshadow primer I have a couple of their primers but I don't think I have a mineral one so it's just a nude color if you all can see that so I hope that that works out well and every time you know they say if you put in three um, emails for those of you who shop on Elf. If you put in three emails, you get a free gift. They keep sending me this stupid flirt, uh, hyper shine lip gloss. I probably have four of these, and I want something else. They before they kept, they would send out the little um, like four quad or the quad, because four means quad. Quad means four. The quad, um, you know, the quad things. Hold on. They would send out the quad um, eyeshadow palettes. And so I've been getting this. So I'm going to put this aside for a giveaway or a swap if I do another one. And um, I have another one of their mascaras. I don't know if it's this one or not. But it's the this is their. I don't think I have this because this, yeah, this uh, packaging looks different. The container that it's in. It's the uh, Elf Defining Mascara. So it comes in a little packaging like that. And this was in Black is Black. And that's what that brush looks like. That's a long brush. <laughs> I don't know why I smelled it. I like smelling things. It also came with this. Uh, the makeup remover cleansing cloths. And it comes with 20. And I wanted to try this before. So I'm kind of, I was happy about this too. It, I didn't want to pay. I forgot how much they were charging for this. Because they. Maybe $3. Because it's a studio line. And I didn't want to pay $3 for 20 uh, cloths. When you can get like 40 from a from the dollar store is of course it's not elf but so i want to see how that works and then it i've never seen i think i've seen this online but i don't know if i ever really paid attention to it but it's the uh lotion wipes and it's vanilla and coconut so hopefully that doesn't smell too bad because i really don't like the smell of coconut but it says to hydrate and moisturize the skin infused with the skin infused with aloe cocoa butter vitamin e soy ginkgo biloba coconut milk and sweet almond oil to revitalize and nourish the skin so and this has 10 sheets in it so this, i want to see i'm really interested to see how this works because a lotion wipe just it sounds interesting hydrate your body with silky smooth moisture the light and airy lotion moisturizes the skin keeping it soft and supple all day long 
So hopefully that'll work because that'll be neat to throw that in your bag. You don't have to worry about, you know, a tube of lotion or if you run out of the lotion or spilling in your bag or anything like that. And then the last thing that it came with, which really made it worth, you know, go ahead and get it, was this. And it's the, um, I already have one of these, so I, well, anyway, the first let me show you, it's the 100 um, eyeshadow palette. And I already have one of these. So I'm doing a giveaway right now, and this is what I was going to give away in the giveaway. But, um, but I didn't think it was going to arrive in enough time, you know, for... I thought it was going to take longer than what it did. And I'm like, well, I want to get that video up. So, I'm going to save this for another giveaway. Well, I wanted to open it, but th that sticker, I can't get it off. So, since I already have this, I'm probably going to save this for a giveaway. And I really like this palette. It has some really good colors in it. And, um... So... Those are the colors right there. Just all those colors that you would get. And this normally costs $10 on there. And they have a really good brown in here. That's good for. Um, for. For my eyebrows. I'm going to actually go get the my palette. So you all can see the colors. It looks like the the uh, colors in here are just a little bit more uh, vibrant than the colors in mine. And I don't know if it's because mine is older or did they reformulate the um, the colors. Hmm. I almost want to keep this for myself because they're more vibrant. But I don't need both of those. I mean, even with the, even with those being more vibrant than these. But um, so that's what that looks like. All the different colors that you would get. And so this one right here, this brown right here, that one is really good for um for doing your eyebrows because um i was using the mac uh eyeshadow in mink i think or i forgot what or it was might have been brune it was either brune or mink but i like that better than the mac so and then so that was that but um as i told y'all before i'm gonna be doing some uh book reviews and so i have these books that i didn't show in the other video so um you know what Th that's kind of like two videos that don't need to be put together so um thanks guys for watching and have a great evening bye